How's it going folks? Welcome to another video and I know it's been a while but rumour has it there has an update for OBS Studio come out that is, or coming out, that is uh, it's pretty big and we've got some fantastic features coming out and I wanted to jump in and take a look at them for myself and see what was happening so we're just going to run through the updates list and take a look. Uh, I do have the most up to date uh, list here, which is as of recording, uh, this is OBS Studio 27 Release Candidate 3, and this was released one week ago. So it's currently the 8th of May, and this would have been released on the 1st of May. So uh, I'll go from bottom up and we will take a look. So, uh, bug fixes, um, kind of generic stuff, really. Um, nothing seems to stand out to me too much. Now, the big stuff and features and additions. What else have we got? Those fixes and fixes. So, uh, we'll go through the features and additions and then I'll have a quick skim through the the, uh, the fixes. So, under redo, absolutely fantastic. Imagine a case where you delete something by accident and you've got like a set of scenes or like um, you've spent ages of time setting up everything to be pixel perfect and you go to delete an old scene and accidentally delete that scene as well. This is brilliant. This is this is big. Undo redo. Fantastic. Uh, a new capture method for display capture. Allowing the ability to capture displays cross GPU. So I'm assuming that is a fix or a, a, yeah, a fix for people with um, two graphics cards in their computers. Brilliant, that's good to see for, for people that are running that. I don't think many people are nowadays. Uh, for users who have previously switched to the default GPU to the integrated GPU, who previously switched to the default, it's recommended to remove the override and instead use a new toggle. Okay, so this is... Okay, so people have been using their integrated GPU as their default and now with the previous fix, which is this uh, added new capture method, they've been advised to, to use the new method. Cool. Added a missing files warning when loading scene collections. Missing file warning when loading scene collections. Okay, I've not seen that before, but cool. Uh, also allowed for bulk update when folders have been moved, such as between computers. Fantastic, that's good. So that you can if you build a new PC or if if you swap from having a kind of single PC setup to a dual PC setup, you can copy your OBS settings over very easily, very nice. Third party plugins will need to add support for this capability manually. Okay, that's fine. Added source visibility transitions, which allow you to manually set, which allow you to set transitions for a source when showing or hiding it. That's huge. Excel is brilliant. Excel is brilliant. So this will essentially this allows you to have a transition for a source. So you can turn your camera on. You can have your source or your scene with your gameplay and whatnot come in, and then your camera slide in from the side. And then when you're transitioning away from that scene, you can have your camera fade out. Or if you want to turn your camera off, you can turn your camera off and it'll fade out. That's cool. That's so cool. Oh, I like that. That's very good. Very good. Uh, added service integration and browser dock support to macOS, cool. Uh, added support for Wayland and Linux, uh, cool. Windows only added support for NVIDIA noise removal for RTX card, cool. That's the I've got a video on that actually on the uh, on the RTX stuff. That's really cool. I like this. I like that they've uh, included a, a kind of inclusion for that. It's, it's really nice. Uh, Added track map mode to stinger transitions, which supports scene masks to display parts of the previous and current scenes at the same time. Added track map mode to stinger transitions, which allows you. Holy shit, that's big as well. That's fantastic. That's map. So instead, what, what we used to happen when people made stinger transitions, you would have to take your transition. And say it was sliding in from one side, your string of transition would slide in, and the scene, as soon as the transition 
as soon as the stinger covered the whole screen is when you would transition scenes and then as the stinger started to hide or go move away the new scene would be there so there always had to be at one point or another where um, the stinger took up the whole screen and now we don't need that people's stream quality is going to skyrocket after this that's, that's fantastic that is that's brilliant you can transition from you can have like your logo sliding across the screen if a streamer has a logo they can have that logo sliding across the screen with the track map following it that's so cool i like that that's huge uh, added support for srgb color formats applying color property cool srgb is cool uh, what have we got here? Candidate fixes, crashes, chroma key, RTX, under is a maximum number of actions it will retain rather than having no memory limit. So your re under redo holds 5,000 actions. That's wild. That's, that's crazy. Uh, switching scene collections will never... Switching scene collections will now reset slash empty your under reader okay so i've got different scene collections um uh, so this is the most up-to-date ones um, obviously we've got the stuff from before but these fixes in this section are the most up-to-date ones which was released a week ago as a whole this is really good um i, I like the fact that we're getting track mats uh, support for nvidia and noise removal and kind of a bunch of other stuff it's it's showing that OBS is looking or listening to the community and seeing what they want and what they're using. So we can see here that people like Xeldro that have been making plugins, they're getting heard and people that are using the, the plugins are now getting it built into OBS as a default, which is really good. I like to see that. Um, but yeah, no, it, it all looks very good. It's. I thought there was more to it, to be honest with you, uh, when I'd seen the, the hype for it online. Um, but I look forward to I look forward to having it out. I look forward to the release. Um, under redo, massive feature, track map for Stingers. People's quality is going to go way up. Um, sometimes Stinger transitions can be really ugly, and this is going to totally make them so much nicer. It's going to be so much better. Um, but yeah, no, it's, it's good to see that OBS are listening to the community and I look forward to seeing it and I look forward to the release. But yeah, if you enjoyed it, hit like, hit subscribe, check out the other videos on my channel. There are plenty of other videos out and plenty of other coming in the future. Um, I'm obviously not where I was before. I um, don't know how many of you have seen previous, vin previous videos, but things are changing and i am got a bit of motivation with some goals I'm hitting now. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.